Hey, I'm Bob. I've been blind since birth and I'm into scary celebrities. I can't say scary stories because we're not really talking about that today. It's October the 3rd as I'm filming this Halloween themed video. If you like it, share, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. These things help the channel. So yeah, we're going to be talking about Doug Bradley today and my first time hearing this guy's voice. It put quite a little jump scare into me. I wish I could say I saw him in Clive Barker's Hellraiser for the first time, but I actually heard him on an audio cassette called Sounds to Haunt Your House. It was one of those Halloween themed sound effect tapes that you could get at your local Walmart or grocery store or wherever fine audio cassettes with sound effects were sold in the early 90s. And I was cleaning my closet when I was given this thing a listen for the first time. I was rifling through some braille papers and, you know, reading a couple of math problems, trying to figure out whether or not I wanted to keep them or chuck them. And my audio cassette player was out there on my dresser and I was sitting in the darkness of my closet around 9.30 at night. And this voice comes out of the speakers and it goes, we have such sights to show you. So I get up and I run out of the closet. I slam the door and irrationally think to my 12 year old self, oh geez, scary voice guy knows who I am. <laughs> so I stand there for a second or two and um, go right back in the closet. It just put a bit of a scare into me. I don't know if it had something to do with me being blind and reading braille and hearing that, uh, if it was just I don't know what it was, but I got a good little jump scare out of that. Had a good giggle, too. <laughs> so uh, that was the first time hearing Doug Bradley. And let me explain that. A few years after that, I, I would see Hellraiser for the first time with my brother. Funnily enough, it was around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. And uh, I noticed that a lot of the dialogue from that movie had been ripped directly from said movie and placed onto the Sounds to Haunt Your House audio cassette. I made that little correlation in my head. And uh, I remember thinking to myself, oh man, I wonder if the folks who made this cassette uh, ever got in trouble for ripping a lot of the dialogue, a lot of the chains, a lot of the, the screams directly from this movie. But it was, you know, the early 90s. And I guess things like that flew under the radar back in the day. When seeing this movie for the first time, I think it was around uh, 1998 or so, and I was a, a fresh Star Wars fan at the time. And I remember thinking to myself, man, they need to let Doug Bradley play some kind of a dark side wielding character in Star Wars because he would be perfect for some kind of a big bad Sith or something. I wasn't sure at the time, but I knew he had a perfect voice and uh, it probably looked like he would fit into you know something, something in, in Star Wars live action. I kind of got what I wanted uh, several years later. I think it was I think it was 2014 or 2015, and I was watching some cutscenes from the Star Wars MMO video game, The Old Republic. And you know, this game was set thousands of years before the birth of Luke Skywalker. And they had just released some things dealing with the ancient Sith Emperor. And Doug Bradley's voice starts coming out of this emperor's mouth, and bingo, I had a childhood dream of mine realized, and I got chills. I kept giggling to myself for a couple of minutes and it was just so awesome to hear this guy's voice coming out of the mouth of this long lived Sith Emperor who had you know, been around for untold years. Not Palpatine, of course, you know, because this was set so long before Luke's birth. It was a really fun little revelation. And speaking of video games, if NetherRealm Studios ever makes an Injustice 3 and decides to feature Necron, you know, the undead Grim Reaper-ish Black Lantern character who basically brings about the apocalypse, uh, they need to get Doug Bradley to voice that character. He would be a perfect, a perfect Necron. Uh, so, yeah, that'd be cool if they decided to put the lead Cenobite in one of their Mortal Kombat games. I'm not going to call him Pinhead because that's not his actual name. But uh, if they decide to put that character in there, um, they should get Doug Bradley to voice him too. They put a lot of uh, horror movie 
fighting characters, a lot of guest characters in Mortal Kombat games, have been doing it for a few years now. And uh, the lead Cenobite would be a fun little addition uh, in Mortal Kombat 12 if they ever decided to do that. But yeah, Doug Bradley is quite a a phenomenal actor. I see that he has narrated quite a few audiobooks. I just found this out recently. Found out that he had his own YouTube channel today, actually, before I I started filming this. And so I'm going to go subscribe to him after I get finished filming this. He reads a lot of H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, a lot of Edgar Allan Poe stories on his channel. I haven't gotten the chance to listen to him yet, but I'm sure he is a spectacular narrator because well, why wouldn't he be? <laughs> so um, that will do for this short and sweet Halloween themed video. I think next time we're going to be talking about a little book series that I used to read on tape called Strange Matter. I don't know how many people have heard of this thing, but uh, to me it was much scarier than, uh, than Goosebumps when I was a kid. So Strange Matter next time. So I will hear you guys in the next video. Don't open any lament configurations if you happen upon them. And uh, be safe this October. Stay away from ghoulies and ghosties and long-leggedy beasties and all that good stuff. Bye-bye.